Hi, my name is Eduardo Ox. I'm the author of an MX package called EV, and this talk is about a new feature of EV called Test Blocks. Let's start by a demo. Uh, this is a file in Lua that defines these two functions here. And if we, if we type F8 several times here, the F8s create a Lua REPL here, and then they send these lines to the REPL, where this line here loads this file into the REPL, and these other lines here are tests for these lines. Uh, there's a lot of information here, so let me organize them in a more visual way. This is our file in Lua. Uh, Lua sees this thing as a, as a multi-line comment, but we are going to see it as a test block. And EV mode is active, and so F8 does the right thing. Uh, this Three lines here set up the target buffer running in lower REPL. You can see the, the, the prompt of the REPL here. And these lines here are sent to the REPL. And when we type F8 on the line that starts with the red star, like these lines here, what F8 does is that it sends the rest of the line, sorry, it executes the rest of the line as Lisp. So it executes the three F8s here execute these lines as Lisp and they set up the target buffer here. And when we type F8 on a line that does not start with the red star, the F8 sends the line to the, the target buffer and moves down. And this line loads this file in the repo and these lines are tests. So we just saw how to use an existing test block. Let's now see how to create a, a new test block. We just have to run this, metax e insert test block, or metax e at, and the result depends on the major mode. Uh, let's see, let's understand that, that by looking at the source code. e at is an alias to this function here, and this function is just five lines of code plus a doc string. And the doc string explains that if the major mode is full mode, then this function tries to call a function called e insert test block test full mode if that function exists and that if that function does not exist then it yields an error and here's an example of one such function that's a function that inserts a test block in haskell mode and here we can see two functions like this one for haskell mode and one for javascript mode uh, these functions look quite similar, but their effects look quite different. Uh, to make this comparison here, I started by writing, by creating seven files, each one in a different language. And initially, each one of these files only had a comment with the name of the language. So C, Haskell, JavaScript, argmo, etc. And in each one of these files, I typed metax eat to insert the test block. So here we can see that these test blocks are different. For example, the syntax for multi-line comments is different depending on the language. Uh, this block here that selects which REPL to run is also different. This line here that shows how that tells the REPL to, to load the current file is also different depending on the language. In some cases, I had to improvise a bit. For example, uh, to implement test blocks in shell mode I had to use this, this weird syntax using uh, a real document. In TCL I also had to improvise a bit and in some cases I had to improvise a lot. For example in org mode there isn't an obvious REPL to run and there isn't an obvious way to load the, the current org file into the REPL. So the default action of metax EAT in org mode is just to, ins to insert this thing here that we can use to run a, a shell in a REPL. So these functions are quite similar and in the beginning I was writing all of them by hand but then I got bored and I wrote a function to help me write functions like that. This function is called uh, find EUAT links and it creates a temporary buffer and the contents of this temporary buffer depends on the major mode. For example if the current mode is Python mode, then running this function here creates a temporary buffer that lets me write the support for test blocks in the Python mode or rewrite the function that supports test blocks in Python mode. 
So if I'm in Python mode and I run this, I get a temporary buffer like this, in which this thing is my template for the function. Usually this thing is totally wrong. I have to rewrite this string, but the rest is right. You can see Python mode here in the name of the function. So we have to edit this and save that to our home slash .mx. And by the way, these things here are hyperlinks to many different things. This Elias Piper link here points to the source code, to the section in which these functions are defined. So, so you can see this the, here the function that supports C, the function for Haskell, the function for JavaScript, etc. And that's it. This is a five minute talk, so I can't say much. If you want more information or if you want to see real world examples, how I use test blocks, etc., etc., see this page here. And I do not have time to explain this, by the way, here. So that's it. Thanks.